Do you want to feed your corals to improve growth rates, but are not quite sure how to go about it? Or perhaps you want to just change up your feeding approach? Well, you've come to the right place. Today we're going to talk about how I feed my corals, and I will demonstrate the process in full. And this is a process that I truly believe has really helped my corals to grow very, very well. Before we get into it, please hit that like button and subscribe. I, unfortunately, I hate asking that every time, but I, I really do appreciate your support. Now, these four different foods you are seeing here are my staple coral foods. I have just had great success feeding these particular foods. You can take a look at some of that success in this video here, which really showcases the kind of growth I've been able to achieve. And I'll link to that video in the description below. Uh, to be fair, the LPS pellets, which you're seeing here, you know, they weren't around back then. To my knowledge, I didn't use them. But the rest of these coral foods I'm showing you, I, I used very, very consistently. Now, the reason I have chosen to use these foods is largely because they range in size, right? I mean, they range in ability to feed various coral types. So in short, I find that with this mixture, I can pretty much satisfy any coral that I am keeping. So your SPS, your LPS, your softies, and even those more unique tank inhabitants, you know, such as clams, even feather dusters and things like that. So mysis, you know, mysis is great. My, my, my LPS, my ACANs, they just love mysis. And I tend to always use PE mysis as I found it to be a little cleaner um, than other mysis brands and it seems you know my fish my especially my finicky fish they just enjoy pe mysis so i don't know what it is but they just love it so and, th and that's that's important because i'm going to show you how i feed and then sometimes i, I kind of overfeed and you need your fish to kind of clean up uh, all the food that you fed once your pumps turn back on now the lps pellets are really great they're much softer than your typical fish pellets and they sink actually really well so it makes placing them in the mouths of each of your LPS corals quite a, you know, quite a breeze. So they're great. Uh, reefroids, I just love. Everybody loves reefroids. Um, they're super popular. So they, they actually promote a really nice feeding response in your SPS corals, particularly your, your acros. So uh, reefroids, they're, they're, they're just packed with, with great things. A lot of marine planktons, things like that. Really great for your filter feeders. Super, super popular. So I definitely recommend having reefroids as part of your staple coral foods. And, and when I've used it, to be honest, you know, I've seen great, great growth, improved growth, and coloration, deeper, deeper coloration in those SPS corals. Lastly is Phytofeast. This food, you know, it's super concentrated. It's great for, for clams, actually. But the primary reason I use it is really just to give my tank a boost in nutrients. And it feeds all those microorganisms in your tank. So it really just keeps keeps those the, the, the kind of the circle of life, if you will, in your tank thriving. And I really think it just it does benefit that full full food chain in your glass box. And it's a, also it's a really nice alternative to dosing nitrate. So rather than dose nitrate directly, if you're low on nitrate, you know this is my go-to substitute for that. So I'll often dose this by itself, even at night in my tank, and just kind of you know add some drops to the water, especially if it's if I'm struggling with with pale coloration or really low nutrients things like that. So Phytofeast is great. So now I'm going to get into the process for how I actually feed my corals with these foods. Uh, the first thing I do is is feed my fish. So, and I'll just feed them my, my normal daily fish pellet, you know. I, I try to get them a little bit full, my all my fish, so they don't steal too much of the food from the corals. So here I am throwing in some PE pellets. My fish seem to really like those. And here I am just, you know, dumping some pellets in the tank, trying to get the fish a little more full so they don't go crazy when I start broad broadcasting the tank or the corals in particular with this food mixture I'm going to mix up. 
Now, I wouldn't say I'm a lazy feeder, but I'm also I'm not over the top precise either. So my process falls somewhere in the middle. I want to keep it simple and quick enough that I'll I'll do it right long term. But I also just you know I don't want to just dump food in the tank blindly, and you know just have it get filtered out in the sump. So first, what I'll do is I'll take several LPS pellets. I'll add them to a small feeding container. I'll do a few pinches of these, maybe 30, 40 pellets in total. How many really depends on how many LPS corals you have, how many heads of corals you have and their size. So at this point, my tank is super young. I'm, these, these are just little frags. I'm still adding corals. So I'm, I'm not using a lot of LPS pellets right now. After I add those pellets, I'll throw in some reefroids, perhaps a teaspoon or, or so. I kind of just eye it. Again, I'm not really too worried about measuring things out. I want this to be sustainable, something I'll do long term. And in this case, I'm actually feeding reefroids from a sample pack I have, so I'm going to use those up first. But, you know, reefroids, they do smell pretty gnarly. Um, actually, after I create this mixture of food, the whole basement kind of smells pretty gnarly. So watch out for that. You probably don't want to do this kind of feeding right before you have company over, if you're going to have dinner or something, if your tank's in the, in the dining room area or something. I don't know. So it, it does smell pretty gnarly. All right, next up I'll add PE mysis. Again, you may need two or three cubes. I, I don't know. It depends on how many corals you have. Um, but I'll throw a cube in. And lastly, I'll add a few drops, a few healthy drops of Phytophys. And you want to be sure to shake this bottle up well, really, really well, actually, each time. And just as an FYI, you got to keep your Phytophys uh, refrigerated for it to not go bad. So there you go. You know, that's, that's kind of what it looks like. You've got a food mixture ready to broadcast throughout your tank. And that, that's going to really kind of hit all the different corals you have. Now next up, I'll get my turkey baster or feeding tube or whatever you call these things. I'm going to add some water from my tank to the mixture to kind of let the, you know, push the, the mysis to, to defrost a little mm -hmm. bit. And that extra water also gives you the opportunity for your food mixture to be less concentrated and will allow you to broadcast to many corals before you run out. So this is a good step to do. Um, so after I add some tank water, I'll let this sit for a little bit. And in my case, I'm old school. I'm running metal halide, so this mixture is actually cooking <laughs> underneath my lights. But just room temperature is fine, so all you LED, LED guys and gals, just let it sit for a few minutes and things will be thawed out pretty quickly particularly that mysis. Okay, so now I'm going to use my turkey baster and try to mix up the food a little bit and get that mysis block or cube spread out, get those pellets spread out, get the reefroids mixed throughout. So I'll just kind of um, suck up some food and, and spit it back out with my turkey baster three or four times just to kind of get things mixed up really, really well. Next, I will then turn off my flow and in this case, I have two MP40s. I'll throw those two guys into feed mode. I really want to slow down that flow so the food has time to come in contact with the corals and not just go you know, straight down to your sump to be filtered out or to rot or whatever. Order, order of feeding. I feed my SPS corals first. I'll, I'll broadcast feed them. I'll spray them down with some, some of this mixture. So I'll let those solid foods like the mysis and the pellets those LPS pellets to sink to the bottom of the mixture, and then I'll pull out just the top layer, um, some Phytal Feast and Reefroids, is what I'm hoping, and spray down those LPS corals real good. So here I am feeding my ORA Green Bird's Nest. Next up, here I am feeding my pink Stylophora. So this, this pink Stylophora and my Bird's Nest frags, I mean, they're, they're my two first SPS corals in this young tank, and they're doing really well. I'm ready for some acros. I've got some arriving very, very soon. Now I'm going to concentrate on feeding my LPS corals. I'm going to mix up the food real well, make sure my turkey baster sucks up some of that mysis and pellets now, and I'm going to start feeding my LPS corals. So first up is my Duncan coral, and I'll give this guy a nice helping of food. And you can see I, I bought this frag as a, I think it was a single head, and we've already got quite a few little heads coming in quite nicely. Next up, I'm here I am feeding my gold hammer. Uh, again, I literally just spray the coral down and gently push food throughout the coral. Now, you don't want to just blast the coral. 
and have it suck its all the tentacles in or whatever the polyps you want you don't want things to, to suck in you want it to still be happy so gently kind of broadcast that food throughout next up i'm feeding my acans now and i like to when i feed my acans i like to be a little bit more gentle and try to drop mysis and a few of those pellets in each of the heads if i can um, and acans they'll just eat forever so Whatever you throw at them, <laughs> they'll eat and, and load them up, right? Um, and they'll spit out, right? If 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 they if you feed them too much, they'll spit things out. So don't don't stress over that. Again, they're really fun to watch eat too and digest the food. They'll go through various stages in appearance as they process that food. So it's quite entertaining as well. And, and again, here's my my lovely Japanese swallowtail coming in to steal some mice. So this will happen. But it happens less often if you load up those fish you have with some food before you start feeding your corals. Next up here, I am feeding my gold torch. Again, I'll give this guy a nice helping of food. Use that mixture and really broadcast the food and push it throughout, spray that coral down. Likewise, I'll do the same for my frog spawn. Now this full routine, I try to do, let's see, two or three times a week um, is my goal. It's, it's not necessary to do that that often. I mean, your corals are going to live. They're not going to die. They're going to be healthy without doing that that often. But if you want to push your corals to grow a little faster, you got, I, I would recommend two or three times a week to do this, especially your LPS corals. Uh, if you want to do it more than that, you can, and your, your growth may further improve. Be careful, though. Make sure your tank can handle the nutrient load, and watch for algae. If algae starts creeping up and getting out of control, then you need to cut back. You know, if I had a, a, a lot of time, I may would try to do this every day. But this, again, I, I'm looking for sustainability. I want to have a nice balance. I want to have the energy and want to keep with this routine in the long run. So a couple, two, three times a week seems to be the right interval for me. So after a few minutes, I'll turn my flow back up, which in turn results in some mysis and some some of the remnants of the food mixture to, to, to start moving around throughout the water column and the fish will, will come in and start cleaning that up for you so that's really helpful and then anything the fish don't take care of like they may, maybe they're full uh will be taken care of by the cleanup crew and then lastly be filtered out in my sump so that's it folks that's that's how i feed my corals to maximize growth i hope you enjoyed the video guys please like and consider subscribing if you like this content and you want to see more of this type of content and I'll keep producing it. We'll see you guys all in the next one. Happy reefing. Peace.